Hi everyone, Alan from Newlands Nursery and this is today's five minute Friday and I've got one of my favourites for you today. So we've got some multi-purpose compost. We've got a cell tray, uh, sort of, I call these greenhouses lids, um, it's effectively what they are, uh, and a drip tray as well. And the seeds, we are sowing parsley. Parsley is a fantastic, uh, you can use it in so many ways. Um, there's three main varieties of parsley. Uh, your cold parsley, which is sometimes called moss parsley, sort of crinkly leaves. Your flat leaf parsley, sometimes French parsley. And this is Italian giant parsley. A little bit bigger, um, using the same way you would flat leaf parsley as well. But it's a bit different, so I thought I'd say that. Um, now, parsley is something where so sow multiple plants in one individual cell. Now, you can see these cells are quite big. Uh, much bigger than what we do if we were doing something like a you know, chili or uh, an individual sown thing. Um, so yeah, so what we do is nice and simple. We're going to grab some multi-purpose compost. I'll try not to make a load of mess, which is what I normally do, and just fill it up. Um, just nice, simple. Fill up the cells. Told you I'd make a mess. And there. And then what we'll do is we're just going to tap it down. And if it sinks a lot, this one here and this one here has sunk quite a lot. Then just top it up. Okay. So I've got two. Two packets here, let's grab one of them. What's often quite do is make sure you shake the seeds to the bottom before now. I've opened like halfway up and then your seeds go everywhere. Um, so make sure your seeds are at the base of that and then just rip over them. Do it over the cell tray as well. So if you do lose any, okay, onto the compost. This can be a little bit fiddly to undo from time to time. Open it up like that and then pour them onto your hand, just like that. So I've got two packets because I think that's what we're going to need to fill this amount. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'll just get almost like a pinch, a pinch of seed, and just sprinkle it into the centre. So there's probably now five or six in there. It doesn't have to be dead centre and do the same across there, just like that. This looks like it's going to do four cell trays. I did drop one there, so I'm just going to the centre. I'm not going to press it down or anything like that. Um, what I'm going to do is grab some more of the original compost and just sprinkle it over the top. I'm going to have to drop the dumps now. Sprinkle it over the top. Just very, very lightly covering it. You can use things like vermiculite, perlite, and stuff like that. Um, vermiculite is a, is a common one to use, but I quite like to use the compost just because it's, it's quicker, it's easier. We've got it there, um, nice and simple. So we've got, like I said, the drip tray. We're going to put that underneath, just like that, so when we do water it, water isn't going to go everywhere, especially if you're going to grow these. Um, like a windowsill or something like that, and the glass house lid is just going to keep the moisture levels and the humidity levels that much high, higher, and it's easier to care for the plants, especially in the early stages. Often we'll get germination a bit quicker as well, sort of creating a little microclimate. Um, and what I do is I'll just go back and fill in the rest of them with the other seed packet. Water them at this stage, let's get water in. Can't really overwater it. Um, make sure you get a nice lot of moisture into there. Part of why the drip trays there, so if, if some comes out, you're not going to make a massive mess. Put it on there. Germinate at about 15 degrees, roughly. So for lighthouses, that's quite cool. So a relatively cool window sort would be absolutely perfect. It's as simple as that. You'll be enjoying parsley before you know. 